Hey there YouTube, this is Park of Team Shockwave and today I'll be doing a commentary video on this match, uh, Six Samurai vs Constellers. It's something that I don't usually do, but you know when I have the time, I'll try to my best to do these commentaries, especially during matches. Um, so the reason why I chose this match uh, out of all the uh, matches so far it's uh, I have is that this is actually an old video. Um, this match was taken back in um, Battle City here in Pandemonium Bookstore. Uh, Battle City happened I believe around February or March, I, I can't recall it was that long ago but um, uh, but uh, one reason was that uh, you guys has asked me a lot about uh, if we can if I can put up a six samurai match uh, so I went up to like my old archive of matches that I didn't uh, think it was good enough to put up but you know I think this is a good time to just put up this video uh, solely on discussing it and and it's showing a little bit of the gameplay of how uh, six samurai is um, dealing with this um, the current format uh, especially when gate of the six samurai was banned um, back in last September so another reason is that uh, I'm doing this uh, video is that um, it was announced that the new ban list that's going to happen in a couple weeks is uh, that uh, reinforcement army is now limited, uh, semi limited to two. So that is very uh, interesting to see, and it's really helping the whole warrior archetype now. Uh, you know, it's we've been seeing for a while that um, this is the best example with this is that uh, Constellers. Decks like Encellus and Firefist, uh, they have cards like uh, Tanky that allow you're allowed to play three of, and it's basically their Rota, but um, it's a little bit better in Rota in the way that you're able to give them the give all your monster a hundred uh, attack boost, and which it can go a long way with the when it comes to um, certain decks. But you know it. They, Tanky does have his con, you know, uh, uh, like if you MST it uh, on the activation, you're not able to go um, to uh, get a search from your deck to your hand. So that's, uh, you can see the little pro and con between the, when it comes to Tanky, but when it's Rota, it's just, it's a standard instant uh, spell card that allows you to search for a level 4 or lower warrior monster, and that is it. Uh, it's kind of funny that, um, I believe, Reinforcement army was restricted uh, to one because of six samurai, and it seems like with now with uh, reinforcement army is back to two, uh, it could really help the deck a lot. But I don't think that um, will change much, just because there's a lot of cards that can give you a lot of answers and everything. Um, uh, brief history on the whole when six samurai came out. Um, so six samurai came out during uh, a brief around. 2008, 2009, I'm not, and they count came out very strong. It's uh, one of the like few or only like decks that you can actually swarm these big uh, beaters uh, to the field and give you like aggressive um, uh, gameplay. And it, it it really hurts when you also had like um, great shogun sheen that's um, preventing you to only activate one spell or trap card on the field and that really does uh, give you a lot of uh, more of a pressure to you to give to your opponents uh, with uh, they re they after their release they slowly got like one or two um, supports uh, the most noteworthy of them all was gateway of the six was allowed them to keep on swarming with ease, which it was very impressive. You also had uh, cards like Six Samurai United that allow you to give you um, extra draw uh, for you. Um, it's basically giving you um, advantage for all your swarming to give you a little more hand advantage as well. And um, what was it uh, back in the? Um, I think it was Storm of Ragnarok. Yeah. And uh, when the release of Storm and Ragnar, they just got a whole new support of, um, I would like to say a sub archetype, if in a way, because um, these guys, uh, these Six Samurai was called now Legendary Six Samurai, which uh, it, it gives them um, the same gameplay uh, they, they had before, but a little more option, and that you can able to um, control your feel, and, which was very impressive. Uh, and, and that's kind of the opening of the um, uh, the synchro monster Xi'an. Uh, 
it was like now you it was defined that he was the boss monster when it comes to six samurais and it was very impressive that you're able to with with gateway to six you if you had all if you had the perfect hand it was that was basically uh you have Sheehan on the field with Gateway of the Six and Six Samurai United and then maybe Mo uh, Musakani for your uh, protection and also a couple more Six Samurai on the field for your extra protection just in case that um, your opponent is trying to get rid of Sheehan you're able to like just you sacrifice one of the other Six Samurai on the field to protect it uh, then you're in very good shape and you are basically clinch yourself with the game uh, to the match as I mentioned, Roto is at 2 now, so it really does help the deck uh, get their ideal hand faster. And that's basically get out Sheehan as fast as possible and then have a couple of back rolls with a couple of monsters for that extra protection and start doing your field control from that. But uh, with this current format, I see that this deck will still have problems keeping their field control. And the reason why is that we have a lot of cards now here in the current format that helps us uh, get rid of or get around the problem, uh, so problematic cards like Sheehan. What you're seeing now is the perfect example of that. Uh, so the Casella player is about to um, get 1 on 1 out onto the field but uh, he had a question that he asked um, myself uh, since I am a judge at the um, at Pandemonium Bookstore and the question was that if he able to use the one on ones effect on Xi'an, can uh, Kakemusha uh, use the effect to use the targeting on instead of Xi'an onto Kakemusha? Even the Kakemusha is in defense mode, and even at the time I couldn't answer him. I can't answer that question because it's something that uh, a judge can't really answer until the play is actually happening. So. Um, he decided to go to uh, Pallades instead. After the match, I told him the ruling and I told him yes, Kakimusha is still able to um, direct, uh, redirect his uh, one on one's effect to him even though he's in face of defense. Other cards that could be problematic for the Six Samurai is uh, Black Horn of Heaven. You know, uh, back when Six Samurai was um, winning YCS. Uh, was it uh, around the time it was released no one really worried about uh, Black Horn of Heaven but uh, uh, it's been like several months now since uh, Black Horn of Heaven has been seen more of a staple and I think that's that's because uh, when uh, September balance happened where it kind of restricted all the main uh, trap staples uh, into like one uh, I believe that there was more uh, space to more, for more creativities uh, you know you see a lot more Black Horn of Heaven the um, Phoenix Wing Blast and even the Trap Tricks Trap O. It's uh, what seems like it's been a good idea to um, play in the deck now as a uh, as a staple. And now we have D Prison and Mirror Force at three, which I think that uh, D Prison will be seeing a lot more play than Mirror Force just because the people are again annoyed with the the hands. Uh, so and that's, that's also again like the hands, uh, getting rid of one of the hands, uh, well using one of the hands, especially the. Uh, fire one to destroy Xi'an if it doesn't have any um, monsters on the f oh if Xi'an doesn't have any other six iron monster on the field but um, again it's we we have a lot more options for getting rid of, getting rid of these problematic cards and it will be interesting to see if somebody can uh, make it work for the upcoming format so uh, what you see so far in this video is that um, in this game two the six armor was dominating throughout the whole time, but he kind of was struggling to find like a big beater monster. But it seems like uh, he wasn't able to get anything. So um, Tom was able to turn the tide against him, and especially uh, gaining that sombre onto the field. It's disappointing to see that the six armor player is going to lose, even though in this game two he was uh, controlling the field most of the time, and. I think the that real downfall is that he wasn't able to get um, like another um, big beater, level 4 beater onto his field to do that much damage to um, get him game. So that's pretty much it for the video right here. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you guys have any feedback of what you think of 6 Samurais in the future, please let me know. And um, that's pretty much it. This is Parkham Team Shockwave, signing out.